If you want to transmit data between devices that are quite far apart, it's probably not possible to use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth because they won't have enough range. So in that case, you can use something called LoRa instead. LoRa stands for Long Range, and it is a patented radio modulation technique invented by a company called Semtech. And what it's designed to do is to transmit very small amounts of data over a very long distance. So the range is typically about, you know, a few kilometers. Best case, it could even be tens of kilometers. So it has a much longer range than, you know, something like Wi-Fi. But at the same time, it can also only be used to transmit very small amounts of data, very small amounts of information, because the capacity is very low, or, you know, it's a very slow uh, communication technique. So it's not suitable for something like streaming video or, you know, transmitting big files. You could, but it would take a very long time. So it's not suitable to use this as, you know, let's say an internet connection. So you can't use this to replace your Wi-Fi network. So just in case you were thinking, you know, I'm going to create a Wi-Fi network that has, you know, miles of range. No, that's not what this does. So then you might be thinking, you know, why is it useful? If it's so slow, if it can only transmit such tiny amounts of data, then why do we even bother using it? What's, what's good about this? Well, there are many situations where you need to transmit data over a long distance, but you don't actually need high speeds or, you know, high capacity. So, you know, let me give you an example. Let's say that we have a, uh, a little temperature sensor placed, you know, somewhere in a field a few miles away, and I want that to send the temperature uh, to my house, let's say every second, right? So every second this temperature sensor needs to transmit the temperature in degrees Celsius back to me so that I can see it on my computer. I don't know. I don't know why I'd be interested in that, um, but, you know, for some reason I want to do that. So in that case, what I need is I need to transmit that data over quite a long distance, you know, a few miles, a few kilometers. Um, but I don't need to transmit a lot of data because it only needs to send one single number, right, the temperature, um, every second, which is, you know, a very small amount of information. So this is one of these situations where LoRa would be an excellent solution, right? Because the other options would be, you know, using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but, you know, they won't have enough range. What I could also do is I could put a SIM card in that device and use, you know, 4G or 5G to get the information across. But that's kind of overkill, you know, I have to get a SIM card, pay for the subscription. And also then I have this, you know, high power radio in there which has a high speed, you know, maybe even gigabit sized internet connection. And all it's doing is transmitting, you know, some temperature values. So something like 4G or 5G would work, but it's really overkill for this application. So that's exactly the kind of thing that you would use LoRa for. Uh, and now I thought it'd be interesting if we give this a try ourselves, if we can, you know, actually test this and see what it does. Because, you know, I've never used this before and I'm quite curious. So I've bought some equipment and now we're going to set it up and see how much range we can get. So this right here is an ESP8266 microcontroller. Now I'm using this one because, you know, it's a microcontroller that I hadn't, I hadn't tried before. So I thought I'd give it a shot, uh, but you can use any other microcontroller you like. It doesn't really matter. And then connected to that is this RFM95 module. So this is a LoRa transceiver. So this is able to transmit and receive uh, data using LoRa. And so in this setup, the microcontroller is able to tell this board what it needs to send. And it also can work the other way around. So this board can report whatever it receives back to this microcontroller. So in the example that we talked about with the temperature sensor, you could have your temperature sensor hooked up to this uh, microcontroller and that one could then send the temperature onto this module and this module could then transmit that temperature data using LoRa. Right, that's the idea. By the way, this yellow wire hanging off of it is the antenna that I'm using. So for this video, we're going to keep things nice and simple. We're going to be doing something very, very simple. 
So what I've done is I've made two of these units. One of them is going to be the transmitter. The other one is going to be the receiver. This one happens to be the receiver. And we're just going to be, able, you know, we're just going to try to transmit some data over a long distance, right? So I've configured the transmitter to just send out a test message repeatedly. And then we're going to see if we can pick up that test message using this receiver. So we're going to take this receiver to some remote location and, and see if we can pick up the message that is being sent out by the transmitter. Now, in case you want to have a go at this yourself, by the way, I'm going to put a full wiring diagram and all of the code that I'm using on my website. So you can find all the details right there. So at this point, you might be wondering, where's the transmitter? So the transmitter is right here. It's exactly the same hardware, except this one's been taped to a stick. So what I'm going to do is, you know, we're in the attic right now, as you might have noticed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this thing out the window. That way it'll be outside and it'll be about, you know, eight meters above the ground. So hopefully we can get quite good range because I'm pretty curious, you know, just how far this LoRa stuff can actually go. So I'm going to stick it out the window in an attempt to go as far as possible. I'm also going to wrap this thing in a plastic bag so that if it starts raining, it doesn't die. Okay, so we've installed the transmitter. Now it's time to get on the bike and uh, see how much range it's got. Okay, so as you can see, we are in a field. Uh, we're about 1,000 meters, about one kilometer away from the house, from the, from the transmitter. And I've placed the receiver on this fence right here because that seems to work okay. Um, and as you can see, it is picking up the packets, see if I can make the camera focus on that. There you go. So it is picking them up, but they are corrupted every now and then. And it's also not receiving all of the packets, so it's only receiving, you know, some of them, because I think the transmitter should be sending about a packet every five seconds or so. And this is not picking up a packet every five seconds. So it's not receiving all of them and most of them are a bit corrupted as well. So we're right on the edge probably of, uh, of the maximum range. So the range that I got is about, you know, one kilometer, which you know, it's not too bad for a first attempt. Probably could do a lot better if you had a, an area with fewer obstacles in the way, because you know, there are quite a few buildings and trees in the way here. So you could probably do better if those aren't there. Anyway, it's quite windy out here and I think I'm going to go back inside so I hope you've enjoyed this video and of course thank you for watching